Hey guys, it's Brittany. Welcome back to my channel. Today is a very exciting video. Um, if you follow me over on Instagram, you're already aware of this, but Bryce has been in Japan. When this video is uploaded, he will be home, but um, he is currently, as I'm filming this, in Japan, and he sent me a giant care package of a lot of goodies for Holly and I, and I felt like, okay, I'm going to be doing a, like, beauty video with all the beauty products I requested, what I got, so I can show you guys in more detail. I'm going to probably do a video just showing off all of the, like, Kirby, Mario, Pokemon type items that um, he has grabbed up. So there's going to be multiple videos like this, but this one in particular is just going to be going over what is in this box because this is the first box of multiple suitcases packed with items. Uh, he's had the time of his life there. It's just something that he is really passionate about. Um, we are already in the works of planning another trip so I can see how much I love Japan. It's just a lot is going on. But let's go on ahead and dive into this big old box. I am such a fan of the box itself. You got Tokyo Sky Tree right there. It just looks absolutely adorable. And this is from Japan Post. Um, this box is heavy as can be. Um, I'm trying to figure out where it says the total weight of it. But let's go ahead and dive in. And I will show you guys these items. I'll also do some cutaways where you can see the items just as the items itself but let's go on in so i want to show you guys the sylvanian family items because we got quite a few i have played with sylvanian families as a child and of course holly now is playing with sylvanian families so when i saw a photo of freya bunny ears and the freya dress I just knew we had to get it for Holly. So this is probably going to be her Halloween costume this year for Halloween. So we got the ears and the dress. I also asked for a keychain, a Sylvania family keychain. And uh, Bryce did do the work. So he grabbed me up that. There's also a couple other items in here. Let me grab them out. Uniqlo was doing a collab. This is a Japan exclusive, so you cannot get this in the US or anywhere else, but it was a Sylvanian family pajama set for kids. So we got the pink set, but we also grabbed up the yellow set, which Holly wore last night, and the sleeves are a little bit pulled. Something in particular that Holly really wanted for her Sylvania family house was a garden. We have been gardening, of course, throughout the pandemic. And that is something that Holly has picked up on is that gardening in your backyard is a fun activity to do. So she wanted it for her Calico Critters or Sylvania family friends. Also, I have never seen these in the U.S., but they had countless hangers of outfits for your little critter friends. So when I seen this one, I was like, Bryce, you gotta grab it up. It's a swimsuit. So next is just a random hodgepodge of stuff. I'm gonna try to keep it in groups. So we're gonna aim for Pokemon type items. This is a Universal Studios Japan exclusive item. It is actually a drinking cup. It has a straw, but Bryce has that in his suitcase. He only shipped the actual Bulbasaur, the bulb, and the sore. Um, I am just so happy about this. This is something I really wanted. It's going to go and be displayed. I might use it. I might not, but it is just absolutely adorable. So I got him from the Pokemon Center. It was this really nice bag when he was making one of the purchases. They put all the items in this bag and it is very well made. It says Pokemon Center on the side. It's reusable and it has a lot of the different generations of Pokemon. Pokemon socks. So I got Sprigatito because that is my favorite Pokemon at the moment. I love cats, all things cats. And this is one of the cutest little guys right here. And it's in my favorite color, green. And then of course, Holly is a true Pikachu fan. So she has Pikachu socks. And the way these work is you wear your shoes and the little stuffy sticks out at the top of the tongue of your shoe. So it looks like a little Pokemon is peeking out with your shoes, which is cute. So Pokemon bath bombs, you guys, 
yeah, they have everything in Japan. These bath bombs has an actual little action figure inside of them. So as the bath bomb dissolves in the water, it will reveal one of many Pokemon. There were so many different options. So this is two. Uh, Bryce told me there was more on the way. So that will be in a future video where I can show you guys all the different style of bath bombs. So here are these. So here is a sampler of some of the makeup items that Bryce grabbed up for me. I got two of the Pokemon. These are like a lip balm, chapstick type duo. I went on ahead and opened the Pikachu one. Very, very cute. In fact, the uh, top of the lip balm, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it because of the lighting, but there's an actual Pokeball right there. Now let's dive into Kirby because Kirby is something that I have a favorite Kirby character Holly has a favorite Kirby character. So let me show you some of the Kirbys. We have a Kirby hairpin. This is really cute because you can either use it as a purse clip or for your hair. I'll probably be using this for my hair to pull it back when I'm doing my makeup. It has both my favorite Kirby character and Holly's favorite character. So I am a Waddle D fan um, and Holly is a true Kirby fan. So of course, a cleaning item from Don Quixote that is a Waddle Dee. This is a little duster, or you could use it to clean your dishes. I was so happy getting this. So um, just as a heads up, I will have things linked in the description if I'm able to find it. This item in particular, I was actually able to find. So if you do want a cute little Waddle Dee scrubber guy, I will have it in the description box below, along with some of the other items. There's also Kirby bath balls. This one right here is an onsen one. So you get a little Kirby mystery item that is in a onsen style. And the bath ball itself has minerals and ingredients in it. That's very onsen like. Uh, we've already opened one of these bath bombs already, but it was a different style and it had a Kirby figure in it. This one, I do have a chance to get a little Waddle Dee. So crossing fingers, I get a Waddle Dee when I use this. Like I said, I'm a Waddle Dee fan, and this is a cute little washcloth. There's multiple washcloths actually in here. Here is a Kirby one, and this is something interesting. If you are curious about going to Japan, keep this in mind. Grab up one of these really cute washcloths. You could get these at the 100 yen store. You could get it at the Pokemon Center. You could get it at Don Quixote, pretty much anywhere, even a 7-Eleven, because a lot of the public bathrooms don't have hand towels. So if you are washing your hands and you need to dry your hands off and you don't want to use your clothes to dry it off, have one of these in your backpack or in your back pocket so you can dry your hands. So here is a Waddle Dee for me in the future. It is from the Kirby Sweet Dreams. And then here is a little Kirby in a bathtub. Very precious and cute. Of course, Kirby and Waddle Dee face mask. Another skincare item I really wanted on my list. And these will be linked below as well because you can grab these up easily. This is from the Kirby Cafe. Yes, Bryce went to the Kirby Cafe not once, but twice. And he grabbed me up this little guy. So he's going to go on my bookshelf because he's absolutely adorable. A little chef Kirby. Some Kirby chopsticks. Yeah, Kirby Cafe fork. There's also a spoon. He grabbed that up on the second trip to the Kirby Cafe, but here is the fork. He went on ahead and mailed it to me. It's sterling silver and it's made in Japan as well. A lot of these items on the back say that they were actually made and produced in Japan, which I think is so awesome that the country itself is producing its own items that you could buy throughout the country. Also from the Kirby Cafe, but this is from the Kirby Petite Cafe. So at the train station, you could go to a place called Kirby Petite Cafe. You could grab up items to grab up, eat on the train. And this is a little souvenir item. It is a coaster. It says Kirby Cafe Petite. At the Petite Cafe, it is a more limited menu, a limited drink menu. But they do have exclusive Petite Cafe merchandise. And some of these items I'm showing you is from just that cafe alone. And some are from the Sky Tree Cafe that is their more sit down formal cafe. Couple more Kirby items. This is a Kirby mystery eraser. Something about Japan is they love stationery. They may be known for their technology and their cars and their video games, but they still do everything pretty old school. So penmanship, paper, all of that stuff is on the top of their list. You will find countless stationery items. So erasers is something that you'll find pretty much in every single store and a Kirby one that is a mystery surprise. Pretty cute. 
This is also from the actual Kirby Cafe from the Sky Tree. It is a pen of a pizza. Now, I do have a couple other items that go with the Kirby at the Sylvania family, but I had to open this at the very end because there's stuff on top of it and it's wrapped up more delicately. So here's just some random items. One thing from Universal Studios Japan is one of the Super Mario World wristbands. This is Princess Peach. Bryce has the Mario one with him. He mailed me this one because this is going to be mine and or Holly's and it's very cute. So I will be using this the next time we go to USJ. Some made in Japan chopsticks with little kitty cats on it. Perfect for me. Different style of wood. I think these are really awesome and it's something that I need to work on personally is chopstick use. I'm not the best at it so hopefully by the time I go to Japan I will have mastered the skill of chopsticks. Here is one of my must-haves. I've already opened it and used one of them last night. These are incredible face masks. Now, in the U.S., you buy a pack of face masks. You pay anywhere from like $5.99 to $12.99 for one single-use sheet mask. This packet right here has 10 in it, and it was less than $10. It's incredible. It's such good quality, too. This is one of their top sellers through Cosme, so that is one of their beauty brands. I will go into more detail about that in the future because we will deep dive more into skincare and beauty products, but this is one that I really like and it will be linked below. Another random, if you are a Spy X family fan, at Don Quixote, they have a lot of candy and a lot of snacks with Anya on the front. These are little candies that have, it's kind of like what would remind me of like a Kit Kat, I think, because it's like a hard candy with chocolate and peanut butter inside of it. So there is this little thing right here. I don't personally eat chocolate, so this is more for Holly and Bryce, but it has Anya on it, and I think it's so cute. Bottom of the box, these are the more delicate items that I have to open and show you guys. I'm only going to open one of these because they're both the same. One of the little activities I really wanted to go to, but could not go to because I was not in Japan, it was the Sylvanian Family Secret Forest Pop-Up Cafe. Don't ask me how I did it, but I talked Bryce into going to the cafe for me and buy cafe items. So he bought me some dishware from the Sylvanian Family Secret Forest Cafe. These are porcelain made in Japan. Very, very cute. And there are some more items. He could not pack it all. So I will be showing this in more detail in another video where I could go over what the pop-up cafe was like based on what he has told me. And um, I could show you all of the cafe merch because I may or may not have at least one of each cafe merch item from that pop-up cafe. So like I said, there's two of those right here. This is from the Kirby Cafe, and this is not from the Petite Cafe. This is from the regular cafe at Tokyo Sky Tree that you could go to. Of course, I will go into more detail in the future about how you could get reservations there because it is a little bit cutthroat. Um, so we will talk about that more in the future. But here is the Kirby Cafe plate. There's two options to pick from. This one had both Waddle Dee and Kirby, and it says, delicious times, precious memories, which is very cute. I forgot to mention a little Kirby Cafe. This is a dish towel. It's very long. It's very cute and super soft. There's also a one piece towel that is more for like just wearing around your neck like working out it's in the wash at the moment because whenever bryce mailed it to me it had a note on it saying this is very sweaty from usj please wash it so that is in the wash at the moment now i'm going to be showing you guys with some nice background music playing all of these items laid out so you can see each one in more detail
So let me know in the comments below which of these items are your favorite. I'm going to have links available to the items I can provide a link for. Thank you again for watching. Don't forget to follow along, especially here on YouTube and over on my Instagram. Those are the two that I try to keep up with the most. There's a lot more Japan coming your way. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.